almost had a heart attack right there. Check that out. Oh gosh, man. Those things are awesome though, aren't they? I love it. I love it. Check that out, folks. Yeah. Well, another scorching day today. Out headed to the lake. Uh, it's 106 degrees right now. We had a cold front that came through Texas yesterday. It dropped it down to a whopping 93 degrees. But I'll take 93 over 106 any day. But uh, I'm gonna give it a whirl here a little bit and just see what we come up with. Uh, school's already started here in Texas, so not many people are swimming throughout the week. And uh, the weekends are a little bit less than uh, what they typically are because school started now it's so hot. And uh, But hey, you can't find anything if you don't go out and get it, right? You gotta look for it. So we gotta search for those treasures. So I'm gonna go out and hit two lakes this afternoon after work and see what we come up with. And if I do, definitely show it to you. So I'll see you guys out in the water. does have a cross on it uh, and I'm not gonna count it as a cross it's a ring but it is the uh, I believe it's the Lord's Prayer ring this is like ring number six that I have like this it's stainless steel it was ringing up as a uh, 50 I guess it's a stainless steel every all the other ones are but uh, hey I'll take that first ring there's the cross right there I don't know if you can see it out here in the sunlight but Anyway, let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can find, and we'll move on to the other lake. Well, one ring and a bunch of earrings. That's all I got. So let's move on to the next lake and see if we can have any better luck there. Well, getting anywhere from a 40 to a 70. Jumping all around, now I know why. It's a chain with a heart with some type of thing in the middle of it but uh, signals are few and far between out here today like I said you know school's already started no one's really swimming throughout the week and uh, once it gets hit on the weekend you have to be one of the first ones to own it to really get anything I'm out here in the area chest deep just where I know people don't really detect and that's where I'm finding everything so far so all right let's uh let's keep looking maybe we'll get us a uh, a ring out of the deal so let's keep searching Hey, check this out. Getting a 65 about chest deep water. Brought it up. It's going to be a Sterling Silver Cross. Preacher Digger got his cross. Now it's an episode. All right, check that out, man. I like that. It's got something on it. Oh, almost dropped it in the water again. I, don't, I can't tell what's on it. This ought to clean up really good. But I like digging those crosses. All right, let's keep on going. I 
Now check that out, guys. I was getting a 42 jumping around. Wasn't for sure what it was. I think it may be silver hearts and gold band. I think it's going to be 925 and 14K. Check that out. That's nice. That's nice. Staying out here in the deep water. And uh, got that ring and now I got this. And so I got another sweep before it gets too deep. So I'll take that. That's worth my trip out here, isn't it? All right, man. Check that out. That's pretty nice. All right. Let's keep on rolling and see what else we get. There's another detector steer. He told me not to put him on camera. And uh, he's down there at the other end. That's far enough away that he can't uh, be seen. But anyway, he's a friend of mine that I met out here for the first time right out here uh, in the same swim area. Anyway, I'll take a gold bracelet any day. So let's keep on going and see what else we can get. Well, I was just getting a 72 and uh, scooped it up. And it's gonna be another one of those I think it's going to be silver. Ringing up that to low, it could be silver. I can't see the markings on it. That's going to be a, a silver eternity ring. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can find. Well, my friend here that I met last time was up in the shallow end where I haven't detected yet. And he got him a really nice tungsten ring. Now, check that out, man. That's a real nice one, too. Well, good thing you hit the shallow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, man. All right, let's keep swinging. Well, it's getting a real jumpy 69 to a 72. And it's going to be a just a non-precious ring. But hey, I'll take it. A lot of people won't dig these targets because they sound like a bottle cap or something. But, uh... Might have been gold plated at one time, I can't tell out here in the sun. But anyway, that's a couple of good finds out here. Maybe we'll find some, uh, some silver or another big ring or maybe some gold. Let's keep looking. Well, just about knee deep water. It's gonna stainless steel ring, 45, 46, it was ringing up as. All right, there's something out here. Let's keep swinging, see what else is out here. Boy, I almost had a heart attack right there. Check that out. That is jumping around as a 42 to 45, 46. I thought it was gonna be a white gold diamond bracelet. It ended up just being a, a junker, a junker bracelet, copper. Oh gosh, man, those things are awesome though, aren't they? I love it, I love it. I'll take anything. And there's another tar target down here in the ground right beside me. Sounds like a bottle cap, but we're gonna dig it up. If it's anything good, I'll show it to you. If not, we're gonna just move on. Check that out, folks. Yeah. -hee! Check that out. Right beside it was just real scratchy, like a 30. It's going to be, a, I think, a junker toe ring. It's not going to be anything good. Uh, got some hearts on it. It's not going to be silver, I don't think, ringing up that low like that. Toe rings ring up real jumpy, not like a ring, because of the uh, the brokenness of the loop there. And uh, so they'll, they'll, they won't sound, even if it's silver, it won't sound like a big silver ring because of the brokenness of that loop. But anyway, hey, right there, side by side, almost in the same hole. Might have been in the same hole when it was dropped. Might have been out of a pocket or something, who knows. All right, let's keep on rolling.
Well, check that out. That is going to be a piece of Catholic jewelry, which I have dug a lot of Catholic jewelry out of the lakes this year. But that is sterling silver. That's going to be a good find. It's ringing up like a, um, like a, uh, I didn't ring up like a, like a, you think silver would ring up it, because it's a chain, so it breaks up that uh, signal a lot. I, I don't even remember what it was ringing up now. But anyway, it was ringing up real staticky, but a good kind of higher tone. And uh, so uh, I'll put in what it was ringing up on the screen right now. And so I see the clasp is undone, but looks like it's still in good shape. We can probably put it back together. Add that to the collection. All right, let's keep swinging, see what else we can get out here today. Well, I just got in from work today. Started to head out to the lake for another video, but I decided I better shoot a wrap up on this video. And uh, so it's a pretty good week. Things are getting a lot slower. Like I said, you know, school's already started here in Texas for the, over the last uh, week and a half. Nobody's going out to the lake during the week. On the weekends, it's very thin because of school and because of uh, the heat. And uh, just, it's getting harder to find more. I still found a lot, but uh, it's taken me a lot more trips to the lake and a lot more traveling to get what I can get. But um, I'm not complaining. Had a good week. Um, anytime you get out and do some detecting, it's always a fun trip. So let me spin you around. I got it all laid out here. Let me show you what I found this video. All right. Modelo, not Bud Light. Uh, there's my aluminum. Got me a plastic shot glass. I just dug that in the scoop when I was digging up another piece of metal. Uh, some earbuds, carabiners, vape pens, fishing lures. Got your aluminum caps, your bottle caps, your beaver tails, and your pull tabs. There's all the trash in this episode. Found me a toy car and a Kawasaki key. I wonder what that went to, a motorcycle? I don't know. And boy, did I find the money. Check that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars in quarters. Forty-four quarters. Even got a Susan B. Anthony and I don't know that dude's name. Uh, Johnson? I don't know. Buchanan. Buchanan. James Buchanan. Two uh, uh, dollars there. I got, uh, let's see here, 10, 20, 32 dimes. I got 10, 14 nickels and 10, 20, 30, 48 pennies and even got one wheat penny. You don't dig those out of the lake very often, but I did, 1940 something. Here's all my hoop earrings, all my stud earrings. I got uh, a couple of bracelets here. Not sure what that is, but it's a hand and says the magician. And so a couple of bracelets there. Got a necklace here, a little heart with some type of eyeball in it. I don't know. And uh, what else did we get? Oh, we got a crystal. That is quartz crystal. I don't know what it stands for, what it means, but uh, it's been in the lake a while. Another little cross. It's been in the lake a while. And this baby right here, like, gave me a heart attack when it first came out. I saw all those diamonds shining on it, but it's just fake. It's not real at all. But, boy, what a heart attack it almost gave me when I saw that. I was just really excited. I did get a silver necklace here. It's a Mary Madonna necklace and a 925 all the way through. I did get a 925 cross. It's pretty tarnished. I tried to clean it, but I couldn't get it to come clean. I guess my best find would be this gold-plated silver heart bracelet. I thought it was going to be gold at first, but it ended up just being gold-plated silver. And so that was a really nice one. Then the rings were a little bit more sparse this around, time around. I found some, I think, that's been in the lake some time now. That's a Joker ring. That's an Infinity. It was gold-plated at one time. And then a toe ring I thought was silver, but it's not silver. Very nice uh, um, stainless steel ring. And then my Lord's Prayer ring, which I got about six of those now. And so those are the rings. That's the lowest I've found in all my videos this summer is five. It was six. Most times I got seven or eight up to 10 or 11. 
But anyway, <clears throat> well, folks, there is all the trash in this episode. And here is all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to a lake and dig and put on your tailgate and shoot a wrap up, my friends. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.